Hello everybody, it's Captain Thief with more Wizard's Lizard. Still no achievements. But you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll get there eventually. Now, we made a little bit of progress last time, and I felt like we were going to make some more. You know, get a little further, but then I took a wrong turn because I got kind of tired at the end. Mentally tired, that is. Yeah, it's not that hard for me to get mentally tired. And I just wasn't sure what to do. So I, I took a wrong turn. Oh yeah, we're going to totally go with the boomerang this time. See how good it is. You know, and the abacus will tell us if it's doing good damage. Oh, so far it looks like it does awesome. Okay, awesome. You know, I, I'm happy with it then. I think I might just skip the darn spear then if that's going to be the case. Alright, cemetery. We'll just see about that. Uh, okay, thanks for the money. Let's see how it does against, you know, crowds of enemies. Uh, I kind of feel tempted to try and just kill him, but I don't have enough speed or something. So let's just, you know, spare his life for once. Ah, uh, this place. Well, let's try it on a crowd of enemies at least. And I want to see how it does. Oh man, that is sweet. And it actually brings me items? Hang on, hang on. Something about this ain't right. Let me, let me see. Uh, please tell me I don't buy things with it. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, nope. Good. Because I'd hate to accidentally buy something because I was trying to point it out on the screen. You know how it is. Okay, let's, uh, blow that up. And let's fetch this gold. Yeah, it totally fetches things for us. Okay. I might have a new favorite weapon. But Captain, boomerangs aren't very thiefy. Yeah, they are totally thiefy. They were like the thief's go-to throwing weapon in FF11. Yeah. Ah! Okay, well, maybe they're not good against birds. Just like the deck. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, blue candle. I was going to say, you know, is this another Zelda reference? That, you know, Isaac already did and turned it into, like, one of the most powerful items ever? And no, it wasn't. So, you know, it's just... It's just a lighting effect. It'd be more noticeable if I turned the darkness up. But YouTube doesn't really like it when I do that, so we're not going to do that. You know, to be honest, it kind of feels like the boomerang is a slow attacking heavy hitter, because it's hitting them twice. And it pierces. So, you know, that's something, too. And it just happens to, you know, bring you stuff. So, you know, maybe it's not, you know, such a good weapon. But I'm really liking it. I won't trade it for the shovel. Oh man, I'm totally trading it for the shovel. I'm just kidding. I uh, happen to be lucky to dodge the bird there. Let's see, maybe the trick to killing birds is you gotta just kill them just out of your reach. Yeah, just like that. Okay, let's try and aim it at him. Eh, eh. Ah, good. Tough to kill birds with it. Maybe I should really use it more in uh, tune with totems then, huh? Was there anything back at the store that I really wanted besides killing? Also, do I want to go to the forest or cemetery too? Both seem all right. I feel like the or the forest is better for the expensive blueprint, which I think are a different subset of blueprints. So I don't need to worry too much about running out of those. I think I don't plan on getting the slime key. I mean, I don't even know what the blood key does yet, so... I don't know. Don't get me wrong, the spear is nice and all, but I don't think I'm going to be getting that either. Okay. Well, here we are with the spear. Hang on, where... Did I happen to disprove the whole notion of the forest entrance always being north? Oh, wow, it's actually really fast if you happen to... Well, okay, it's it's faster as long as you're not attacking them from a distance. I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like this spear should be good against death or something. And if I get there, I'd feel kind of dumb if I didn't have it. What do you guys think? Yeah. Let, let's, let's go with it. Let's try and get the blood ring and all that and stuff. I don't know. Go ahead and kill me, guys. I love this boomerang. We're going to totally go with it next time, but... For now, I just want to try out the spear some more. I feel like I've been trying it out too much. Nah. Okay. And the blueness really kind of is weird here, so I don't know. 
Gotta appreciate the range at least. It's got a bit more range than the boomerang. It doesn't have to come all the way back when I want to throw it again. Up. Uh, is that it? No. It looked weird. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, we're not going there because we're going for the uh, slime key. And then we'll get the blood key. And then maybe we'll get far enough to actually make that work. Okay, you know, not a bad run so far. I would have preferred not to have died, but you know, you kind of have to to get the spear, all right? Raga, you, you, you went to Cemetery 1 again. You waved early. Raga, you ruined everything. Okay. I don't need to worry too much about not getting blueprints out of here. Lots of money. Because... Well, I'm sure I still have plenty of cheap blueprints left. I don't need to rely on the expensive ones just yet. Maybe late game I'll be going to the forest all the time. I don't know. Okay. I wish there was somewhere I could take the the boomerang with me. You know, maybe switch it out with the spear every so often. Then I'd be hitting pause a whole bunch. I don't know. Maybe make it a button that I hit. Huh? Okay, and then... This place isn't dangerous enough to use totems, and I think that's kind of a problem. I never get used to using totems out, because the rooms aren't hard enough, he says, as he's taking tons of damage. Um, okay, that works. I'm going to resurrect in this on this floor anyway, so I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. I'll probably play a little risky and not pick up any food either until after I resurrect. Killing the resurrection things. Takes a while. Okay. We're pretty much rich. You know, if I can find that blueprint merchant, I'd be happy. Alright. Thanks to the goblet. And eh, why not? Always finish what you start, kids. It's probably the worst time in history to take a drink, but you know. <laughs> it just wouldn't be a Captain Thief episode if I exercised good judgment, would it? Okay, things are working. You know, always take cover. It's important. Uh, go ahead and open this. Also, I think I like the spear because when I go to the uh, sewer, I'll definitely be able to take on the uh, that brown crystal thingy a lot easier. And then I can get free health. Okay. I think what kind of annoys me about this game sometimes is how long it can take for the rooms to empty. It's just a little ridiculous. Just a bit. Just a bit. Okay. Uh, I haven't resurrected yet, so no. No thank you. And we're not going to get to resurrect for a long time either, so we better do it now. I can't just skip this for time. At least now we know where the uh, exit is. I would really, really like the compass blueprint, but I'm sure either that's non-existent or some other excuse. Alright. Just two headstones and four man-eaters. You know, I'm sure that's a song or a poem of some sort. I'm glad the treasures have different values. The goblet's 750, for instance, and the crowns are 1,000. Oh, ice or soul totems. No, I actually don't like soul totems that much. It's not a very good trade-off. I think you get a bit more AoE action. Sweet. Thank you. Dark Iron Chestplate. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. it. It gets a bit more AoE action, but you can't destroy spawners with it. That's like one of the main things I love this totem to do. And, I don't know, just... I'm not really into it. Okay. Soul Totem. I'd rather have ice or poison totem or something. Boom! Boom. Boom. Well, you shouldn't have been hiding in a barrel then. Haven't you read Alibaba? Okay, let's see. You're a mimic, aren't you? Uh, nope. Just a wizard ring. Oh, one last thing. Okay, cool. And here's the resurrection place. Perfect. I can do that now. Give me my 25 health, please. 35? It's because I have that wizard ring, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so I guess soul power 
Oh, cool. The blue candle actually uh, helps. All right, then. Uh, thank you. Um, I guess soul power helps with your resurrections. Nice. I'll have to remember that. I don't really need to kill you for health. I'm a little tempted to, just to say I could, but... Unless I'm going to kill 12 merchants in one run, like that one achievement said, it just doesn't seem worth it, or worth trying, unless I see something I really like at the store. It can't even kill blueprint merchants. And, you know, those are the ones I really need to kill sometimes, you know. 20,000 for a blueprint? I don't have that kind of money. Or maybe I do, and I'm saving it for the next $20,000 blueprint, huh? What do you think this is, a student loan? Okay, level three. Perfect time for a drink. Go ahead and wave, Raga. Yeah. I've been drinking a lot more in the vids, and if that annoys you, I apologize, but I really think that it helps my voice stay crisper longer. Mimic? Nope. A ring. Uh, health or soul power? Let's pretend we're wizard lizard, or wizard li a wizard's wizard lizard. Mimic? Yep. Totally a mimic. Uh, just gotta play dodge with him a bit. Okay, not too bad. I'd like to have killed him with uh, an explosive, but you know, you can't always get what you want. Oh. So, let's see. We'll put this here, and then run. Boom. Uh, 20 damage to both of you. That's pretty good. Thank you, Totem. Just gotta be strategic about it. Okay. Uh, free meat. I'll take it now. Oh, wait. It's raw meat. Uh, I can't really tell the difference between raw meat and cooked meat. Just like in real life. I'm just kidding. In reality, I actually like meat way overcooked. Which, you know, much to some of my relatives' chagrin. Okay. We're looking for the hostage. And there he is. And we blew that guy up. Now let's go ahead and save you. 500 more gold, gave me a kiss or a hug, I couldn't really tell. And... Uh, I love the range on this thing, by the way. If I find the scythe, I'll go with that. I don't care if death is immune to it, it does more damage to everybody, especially death. Do, do, do. Do, do. I wonder what the different characters in this game do, by the way. Because, I mean, Raga's pretty standard. Maybe they have different stats. Maybe they have completely different abilities. That would be interesting to find out. Uh, well, the spear does double damage to zombies too, not just ghosts. Let's see, we'll try and take them from here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, excellent. Uh, hi. Golden Axe always gives me gold when I kill things. Always. Which, if this were like a 12-hour run, you know, maybe it'd be the best thing ever. Uh, okay, I'll totally go with it. Hey, R Ingenious, how you doing? That's Eric, by the way. For some reason, he couldn't name himself R Ingenious on YouTube, because YouTube's a jerk. Ah! Okay. I was kind of hoping that the poison would do a bit more damage. Well, subconsciously hoping. I, I know it doesn't do any damage, it just slows them down. <sighs> How terrible for me. Do I want to buy anything? Am I wearing body armor? I am not. I might as well wear I might as well buy this. More health can't hurt. And it's only 2500 If I come across something better, I'm not going to be hurt. I'm not hurting for cash, guys. I invested in uh, Raga stocks. Raga options, actually. Back when they were a small startup and you know they were only selling those to insider employees. I found uh, some crazy janitor there who decided he didn't want any Raga stocks and he sold them all to me for five bucks and a uh, penny whistle. I don't even know what a penny whistle is, by the way. Killing that grave digger makes me want to get the shovel. But I can't because I didn't go to the forest. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. I might take damage from this meat. Okay, good. I was able to consume it safely. Alright. Werewolves. Perfect things to take out with the spear, mostly for the range. Come on, guys. Come on. 
Where are you? Really? You're just gonna like hug the wall? I mean, I guess. Here's the boss. Yeah, just just keep playing the same game over and over again. Well, maybe it's my fault for not turning off the steam overlay, but I like having it on, okay? Actually, I don't really care. All right, let's try and blow this guy up. What form is he anyway? Uh, so far, he's that form. Uh, let's see. Not. Ow. Okay, the explosion got me there. I'll grant you that. And the poison doesn't slow down his. What do you even call that? Ball and chain attack? Don't hug the wall, the explosion will get you. Okay. Try and kind of drag him over to the explosive over here. And get some extra hits in. Ow! Okay, it's, it's fine. He did a lot of extra damage to himself, too. I mean, don't get, don't kid yourself. We're probably dead here, but, you know, it's worth it. It'll totally be worth it. Um, just keep dodging. I think I can grab apples even when I'm full of health. Uh, that would be incredibly annoying if I accidentally do, but, you know. It's only five health. It's nothing to, you know, quit over. And, oh, here you go. Here's some poison. Okay, thanks for doing a whole bunch of damage to me. I just gotta get to sewer two, and then we can resurrect, thankfully. Um, if I live that long. Okay, all these spawners have got to go. Finish them off, okay. Excellent. Soul orbs. And an apple. I guess I'll, you know, raise these guys just to finish them off. I was hoping they'd drop some apples or something. Okay, I wish I didn't die there, but you know, what can you do? Alright, we've got everything fully explored. Is this the spear? It is... Oh, this is probably even better, guys. Okay, so I'm going to totally take this. I mean, you know, this is obviously Eric's influence. He wants to see new weapons. Oh, double damage. Okay, yeah, sorry Spear, but we're, we're moving on. Let's try and get the uh, blood key while we're here. Oh my gosh, this is this is sweet action, guys. I hope I find the blueprint for this. I mean, the blueprint itself for the uh, the blueprint for the boomerang itself was excellent, an excellent find. But actually, you know, get this. Yes, please. Thank you for not bringing that bomb back to me. Still armed, anyway. I am just wrecking house now. This is definitely the boomerang episode, even though it was kind of full of spear earlier. And that's not innuendo. <sighs> I'm starting to remember why I kind of don't like the... Uh, what do you call this place? The sewer. The rooms are even more obnoxious and full of enemies. Did I kill everything? Kind of. Okay, I think I found one person. Maybe the face hugger dropped a ghost. I don't know. Do 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 do. Valley with wind. Good choice. D just keep that up. Just keep that up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Eric. You're, you're cool. Anyway, uh, anything that we absolutely must have on floor number one. I can't remember if there's a blueprint merchant. I think I think it's not always the same. You know, I used to think, oh yeah, on stage three of every set, there's always the hostage. I think it might be actually stage two on, in the sewers. Okay. Uh, I, I really don't like the spike being here. Rip. I'll just go, well, cool. Don't mind if I blew that up. Um, this is going to make treasure fetching a lot easier if it's like behind spikes. I love it. And also it grabs stuff for me right out of barrels. Cool. Alright, I think this is my new favorite weapon. And boom. I mean, granted, I, I really like the spear too. But guys, you, you just can't compete with this. It pierces. It does pretty good group attacking. Oh, excuse me. And, well, there's nothing else to say. It's just that awesome. Where's our last enemy? 
Oh, there he is. He's a ghost. Boom. Alright. What seems to be the most logical way? I want to say left, just to keep going through the hole we've dug ourselves. Okay, cool. We found this here crystal thingy. Um, it's easy enough to dodge. It's not like you have to be, you know, in this perfect spot like I keep thinking. Just keep trashing that crystal, man. I think we'll, you know, we'll have full health at, at the end of this thing. Now, I don't mind. I'm not going to forget the potion this time. Even though it wasn't this potion I forgot last time. It was from the casino. Kind of feels weird to call that place a casino, though. Alright. Anything else here? No. Alright. Uh, don't think it said anything special about me killing that brown crystal, so we'll just move on, I guess. Uh, hang on, my Windows wants to, you know, restart to be a complete dick. So I'm going to tell it to postpone for four hours. Yeah, I, I can totally control it with the mouse. Which actually gives me a better aim control, but guys, I love my controller too much to do that. Uh, let's see, okay, good. Got that off. Oh, it's a new weapon. What's this? A ring of speed, I got the ring of wizardness. I kind of like the wizardness, especially for resurrects. Uh, I'll get definitely get the map. Dare I afford the spear just so I have it? Yeah. The boom spear. You gotta be kidding me. Let's try this out, guys. The magic, the magic boomerang is definitely worth coming back for, but I want to see how deadly this is to things that aren't me. Ten? This is just a glorified firework so far. Okay, this doesn't really count. These were already boomy to begin with. <sighs> okay, fine, fine, fine. I don't like the looks of these puddles. Okay. Well, let's see. How far... Well, we throw them pretty quick, actually. And they do shake the wall a bunch. Okay, well, at least we found a new item. Let's try it out on an enemy, though. Hey, face huggers. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going back for our magic boomerang. Sorry if you really like this boom spear, but I'm not really saying anything special about it. It's got good AoE, I'll grant it that, but the magic boomerang is even better. Alright, here's your boom spear back. You can sell it to the next guy. Oh, do I have gloves? I do not have gloves. More health. Hey, it was okay. You know, I've got I've got money to spare. Granted, I'm trying to buy blueprints and stuff, but, you know, I'm trying to live, too. I want to see how... F oh. <sighs> Let's find some more money. Okay, so far, so good. Oh, sweet. Magic boomerang, this is your time to shine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys, but you just got trounced. Same with you, uh, face huggers and barrels. I couldn't remember that word for a minute there. Okay. Nothing else in here? Okay, then. I didn't get enough money to afford anything here, so... Psh, whatever. What would probably be the best boomerang is probably the golden boomerang. And you can guess what that does. It gets me a quick drink of water, that's what it does. Ah, just looking for gold. Alright, here's some quick gold. What's in here? Is it a mimic? Mimic? Nope, it's the compass. Okay, map and compass. Perfect combo. Uh, you know, let's just kill these guys just because, you know, it feels like the right thing to do. Who knows who will be coming down through the sewer after us. And if they run into these things, well, it would just kill me to know that I could have saved a life. Huh? Ignore the fact that, you know, I'm ignoring a whole bunch of other enemy enemies. I just want to see how, how good this boomerang is, and I think I'm getting a pretty good feel for it. Getting pretty close to the exit. Okay, good. I guess it's not until level 2 that the globs start coming to life, huh? Boom! Um, I will say that it, you know, if you miss with this thing, it's kind of punishing. Incredibly punishing, really. When you're being chased anyway. Thanks for Soul Orb. Getting pretty close to 30. And by getting pretty close, I mean... Uh, 
I could use some more. Well, I, for a minute there, I thought my magic boomerang was an enemy. I was like, ah, I'm gonna get killed. Okay, let's go ahead and grab all this. All right, I can afford to gamble. Question is, do I? Well, since it doesn't take forever in a day, like a certain other Isaac-like. <laughs> it's funny when you call Isaac an Isaac-like. Um, yeah, we're totally going to do that. It's not going to take too long. Especially when we use dash. Which actually lasts longer than I thought it would. Why don't I dash more? Probably because it's the side button. I'm not used to the side button, folks. This one, 40,000. Uh, better... No. I, I, I like my... I, it's not going to help my poison any in, at, anyway, so whatever. 5,000 down the drain? Oh, well. Maybe I didn't have the shaman tunic. Oh, I, I highly doubt that. So, let's see. I wonder what's... Oh, okay, it gives me a two-second cooldown. Except, not really. It's kind of a cooldown that doesn't apply when it comes back to me. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that works either, but, you know. It's how they, the developers made this. By the way, I've checked the forums and Steam, and according to the developer, putting in any sort of system where Raga wears equipment, uh, aesthetically, would be too much trouble, so they're not going to do that. Which is too bad, because, you know, I think Raga would look pretty cool with, like, a wizard's hat or whatever. And maybe they only need to do it for Raga. Or... If they ever put this game on, uh, what's that called? Workshop? Steam? Yeah, Steam Workshop, then people could probably make mods for the game that do that. Kind of. It'd be a bit of work. I don't, I don't really know what exactly goes into game programming, so don't, don't ask me. But, you know, if they could, I'd be eternally grateful. Even though, by the time they do it, I'm probably not playing this anymore. It's a great game, but, you know, it has its end, okay? It's not an eternal journey. Or at least, you know, it won't be for me. Oh, I'm so close to another gamble. I'm itching to gamble. Also, my nose itches. Oh, sweet. Um, let's kill these. I'm only taking five damage. That's not too bad. Just go ahead and make some icicles here. And kill you. Just one wave with this whole boomerang kills the uh, mutant zombies. Ah, you're alive. I was not expecting that. Okay, I think the boomerang might be terrible against uh, the slime guys too. In addition to be being, not being optimal against the owls and other such birds. Well, you know, that's fine. Every weapon has its own strengths and weaknesses. If I could carry multiple weapons, that wouldn't matter. But, you know, that's not how this game works, guys. Uh, we done here? Oh, we got a spawner left. Okay. Oh, we'll go and blow that up. Oh, let's blow that up. Oh, sweet. Okay. Sorry, guys. We're going back to gamble. I'll try and make it quick. Something up with the run cycle whenever you dash. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. It's going to be one of these rooms. You can only dash in one direction. I can't just change directions. Sadly. Oh, well. And I can't run diagonally. Okay, dashing is best when you're going in a completely straight direction and that's all you need to go in. I'll keep that in mind. Usually when I'm running from enemies, I kind of try to turn. 40,000. What's this? Charm of offense. Oh, okay. That was worth it. How much are you doing now? 25. Okay. That works. It's still going to two-shot slimies instead of one shot, but it'll work. It only takes one round or one forward and back motion. Throw it really fast, Raga. Yeah, okay. Oh, right, I should be dashing. Save us, like, half a second here. Boomerang episode. Oh, no, I left my boomerang back there. Oh, that's okay. It's back here again. Okay. Are we done here? Yep. Even if there's one room left, I probably wouldn't go all the way back for it. All right, sewer one complete. Let's grab all that. You guys alive? No? Okay, you know. Thanks for taking care of the riffraff for me. Oh, I'm not going to destroy the barrels. I'm just going to let this happen. It's a zombie death factory. 
excellent name for the episode, but I'm definitely probably going to name it something about boomerangs. It's all coming back to you. Alright, and this should be the level where you start seeing a lot of slime creatures. Well, I know where everything is. Why aren't I using my compass better? Because I think I'm looking for secrets? Are there secrets? I... I don't know. Let's see. Not sure what to look for here, so... whatever. Let's not go to the resurrection spot just yet. Ah. Oh. That was a close one, actually. Darn face huggers. And their glass candy. That's how they get you, you know. They don't actually hurt you, they give you candy that's poisonous or something. Oh, right. How could I have forgotten about the wonderful uh, spewing poison spigots? Okay. You know? He, oh, wow. He took a bad hit there from the boomerang. Good boomerang. Boom. Who's left? Uh, that guy. Right there. Done. Okay. And I'm going to... Okay. This doesn't show up on the uh, compass, actually. So it's good I came here. Maybe. Okay, guy. I'm going to need you to not do that. Granted, as long as I can get to the resurrection spot, any damage you do to me doesn't matter. Still, you know, it greatly hinders my chances of winning here, okay? So, you know, just cut out. Also, how did this guy get here anyway? He was strong enough to beat the cemetery, but he just wimped out at the uh, sewer? What the heck? Oh no. My boomerang's gonna pierce that barrel and hit him. Shoot. I don't want to kill him. I don't even know if there's any point behind killing him. Uh, hey, how's it going? Okay. Nope. Oh, I slowed him. Smack. Oh, and I should be using my slow totem too. Why aren't I doing that? Well, whatever. Let's just try and throw this at an angle. Yeah, okay, that works. I didn't kill him. Thanks for the hug, brother. And now where are we heading? I'm kind of glad I went that way. <sighs> I'm tempted to go to the blueprint area. But I should also clear the way to the resurrection room. Maybe by the time I get there, I'll have five health left. And I'll ac absolutely need it. So, you know, that's not a bad idea. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to save my soul orbs on this one, by the way. In case you're wondering why I'm not really using them all that much. Okay, just go ahead and throw. Boom. Ah, I gotta hit all these. Whee. I love dashing. Okay. I'm sure that thing's alive, but I'm not even gonna go check. Mimic? Nope. It's a book. Book of Totems. Thank you. I, th I think. Okay. Um, I'm not going to risk it. Let's just go corporeal. I know, it's being a little less efficient, but it's also being a little safer. Okay, so it's not half your health plus five for each soul power like I thought. It's actually just, you know, 25 plus five per soul power. So even though I had 70 base health, yeah, yeah, you know where I'm going with this. Oh, sweet. Found this already. Thanks. Okay. Let's not attack this guy. Uh, a helmet. Sweet. Um, dare I need to buy any food? Not yet. Let's see what the blueprint is. Uh, it's always like this. Always. All right, then. Maybe I'll run into a complete treasure trove and not have to worry about it. <laughs> My hot chocolate I made has turned into chocolate sludge. Delicious, but you know, it dries your throat out really quick, so it has its disadvantages. What did I tell you? Two shots, then. Come on, come at me. Eh, don't come at me at that time. I gotta actually time these. What kind of monster makes me time anything? Okay, you, you're alive. You're alive. And now you're dead? Yeah, dead. Okay. 
What else are we looking at? Well, we got one more room. I know, I know. I'm a complete stupid idiot, but, you know, I might get enough to get that blueprint, okay? Dash! Even though it's probably better to save that for a combat situation. Okay, I don't have to worry about all the ghosts in here. Of course, the ghosts probably reward a whole bunch, too. Not sure how I feel about this, actually. Well, done here. Should I farm the face huggers, guys? Ha 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 ha. Come on. Alright. Anything here? I'm not seeing anything, so I'm just gonna leave. And move forward. Dashing time. I wonder if there's equipment that reduces the cooldown on the dash. A one second KD or er, CD would be awesome. Okay, this might just do it. Actually, it has no chance in heck of doing it, so... Whatever. Free money. Let's see. Well, if we can't afford the blueprint at the end of this, should we go back to the potion? I'm thinking a giant yes. Especially since I just took really bad damage there. Um, come on. Pop up. Okay done there. Alright. Let's, uh, explore a little bit more. Just for money. Mostly for money, anyway. I'll take him out first. He's our biggest threat. Then take this guy out, and maybe him. Yep, yep. It's working out fine for me. Oh, geez. Sweet. That was a nice boomerang ricochet. Or boomerang rethrow, I should say. Oh, it's that eyeball guy. It takes three hits to kill him. Easy. Boom. You're alive, aren't you? No? You're alive, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Three hits to kill the Mimic. Guys, it's getting a little ridiculous. Ah, I want to keep this run going. I have to choose between food and blueprints. Maybe. If I don't get 2,000 here, then there's no real choice to be made. Let's see. Boom. Dodge, and then, boom. Excellent. What about you? Okay. Just don't go into the door box, okay? Nope. I should know that. I haven't used the totem, like, in three floors. What's wrong with me? Especially since it's so good against the face huggers. Okay, I'm definitely killing these explosives from a distance. I, I've had enough of their shenanigans. And boom. Okay. Okay, gotcha. You're alive, aren't you? Yep, he totally is. And come alive again. Boom. Killed Muck Monster a hundred times. That's saying something, isn't it? Okay. About done. Oh, I'm gonna keep my eye on that spike. That tends to get me hurt. Okay, I got enough for a blueprint, guys. But I also want to stay alive. I think I'm gonna go for food. You know, as much as I like, uh, whatever this is that's going on, I want to get to that... I want to be able to use this blood key, and I have a feeling that it's going to be used in the next set. So, we're going to eat food. Enough food to fill us up. I know, I could, probably could have afforded the blueprint if I wasn't so bad at taking damage. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, let's go ahead and take... well, it doesn't matter what we buy because you get the same amount of food. Well, okay, I guess the bread is better in that respect. Actually, I probably could have taken all of it if I battled him. And I'm going to battle him. I know, this sounds really, really bad. But, you know. Okay, so poison has no effect. Or maybe it does. He's just really, really fast. Yep, okay, never mind. I was wrong. I, I, I have to prove myself... I think I figured out how to fight him anyway. Oh hey, the food becomes free while fighting him. That's that's funny. How much how much health do these things have anyway? Okay. Do I get all my money back if I kill him? I hope so. Well, there we go. Uh no, I don't get any money back. Well, I killed my first merchant. Um These things are still peeved. 
So, uh, that was that was actually really bad play on my part. I should have attacked him, then just taken the food. Well, now we know. You know, I'm developing strategies. I'm not just, you know, getting preps and getting gold and buying blueprints and rescuing hostages. I'm also developing my strategy for each enemy, you know. I know how to fight each one, and once I know how to fight all of them, it just becomes a simple matter of good decision making, which I've never successfully done. So, yeah, stop yelling at me. Oh, I'm so close to death, guys. That spike would kill me. Uh, go ahead and stop now, thanks. Don't feel like getting covered in waste. Alright, level 3. I wonder if there's another super crystal in here that I could get another free, you know, potion out of. Ah, oh, gee. Let's plan our route. Okay, there's another merchant there. I feel like we want to go down and to the left, though. Uh, let's see, we'll just put that there. Kill him, kill him. Yeah, alright. And then just kill these things from a distance. We're gonna kind of play safe. Um, the doors are still locked. There must be a lurker. Yep, totally a lurker. And dodge. Doge. Doge coin. Yeah, good. Um, let's open this. It's the anti venom ring. I'm gonna have to stick. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll come back for it if we get more health, though. If I'm dead, venom doesn't affect me, so. Whatever, man. Oh, the spike got me just as I predicted. Okay, yeah. The anti venom ring's not gonna help now. But at least I was alive long enough to get the. Ow. At least I was alive long enough to get that there. Uh, blood ring, or whatever it was. Alright, got him. Uh. Oh, come on. Come back to me. Sweet. I love it when it has a short bounce to make. I'm so close to the soul orbs, guys. Just one more and we'll do it. And I think I get more soul orbs as a ghost. So I'm probably going to get it. I hope. Okay, this room is definitely what I call a, a trap for people who don't have compasses. And it's pretty sad that I've fallen into it since I do have a compass. Yay, soul hoarder! I'm a hoarder of souls. I wonder if that does anything for me. Achievements, I mean. Does it unlock the character? Did I unlock the wizard? No. I, I haven't even saved him from death yet. How could I unlock somebody who's not saved, huh? Come on. Come at me. Yeah. Okay, I don't really think these ghosts are a big threat, so I'm kind of taking care of them at my leisure. I guess now that I have Soul Hoarder, I can just spam Soul Orbs now. When I need to. Especially since I'm wearing the Wizard's Ring. Why aren't I doing that? Okay, there's nothing special in there. I got some gold, I guess. Oh, right, I'm dead now. I thought my Boomerang was an enemy again. Let's see. Thanks to the Wizard's Ring. I actually kind of don't like how it picks up equipment. Just a bit. If there's equipment to get, I don't really need the Boomerang to get it, you know? Okay, so are we heading for Mr. McMerchant? I hope he has something good. But I know it's not a Blueprint Merchant, because they have a completely different icon. Thanks for dying. Uh, yeah, let's see what he has. Whoa, hey, hey, dude. Oh, I get it. Um, since I... Oh, uh, these are just triple daggers, actually. Okay. Um... Dang it. Okay, I'm, I'm probably dead here, guys. Yeah, I probably should have used that tome earlier. Fight one merchant, you fight them all, I guess? I don't even know. That, that was that was nuts. Th this one sucks, okay? I don't know. Just... Uh, I promised something awesome. I got the magic boomerang. That, that was pretty awesome, but... I didn't get any further, and I, I'm starting to see a certain someone's frustration with this game. At least when it comes to Let's Playing, it's hard to get far. Oh well, oh well. Sorry guys, um... I'll do better next time. If I can get that magic boomerang blueprint, that would probably be the best. The regular boomerang, boomerang's okay, but the magic boomerang is where all the awesomeness is at. 
Okay, so let's just return the title. Okay, I think I've learned some things. I, you know, gather intelligence. That's that's part of being smarter, you know? Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Captain Thief playing a wizard's lizard. I will see you in the next one.